hey hey everyone and uh, welcome in it's a monkey mar before we get into today's video please make sure you uh, click that subscribe uh, button the bell for notifications and of course the like this video is for a gb i see her around we chat in rooms and she asked me to touch on this story she writes to me uh, five hours ago great video monkey i also wanted to see if you could do a video of missing mom a four and grandma a three i believe echo lloyd age 48 from benson county missouri she's been missing since mother's day weekend 2020 the same weekend as susan morpheo her daughter has been all over trying to get her case in the spotlight. I believe Tim Miller from Equa Search is headed to Missouri this week to conduct his searches. Maybe Laura can do a video as well. You've got to see her daughter Ashley's plea over Thanksgiving. It is so heartfelt, sad, desperate, and heartbreaking. She needs this to get out and expose everywhere. Thank you again, Monkey, for considering. God bless you always. And you know what? I am going to touch on this story for you. And I did a little digging and I got some basic information, but I am curious who the neighbor is. So let's get into this article and then let's see if we can figure out who the shady neighbor is that they are talking about. All right, guys, with that, let's get into it. So I just watched her daughter's video on Facebook that was posted on July 7th. And I have to gather myself. It completely broke my heart. Like I've said in previous videos, it is amazing how some people get the spotlight. People are out looking for them, volunteers. And then we've got a mother, beautiful Echo Lloyd, her beautiful daughter I've seen pictures with her grandkids and she's just missing so I do think that EquiSearch has gotten there or they're heading there because I do see the name on the flyer that you can contact them with any new evidence as far as if any dogs have been out to the house or that I do not know yet but I'm going to read these articles for the first time with you guys and I might find the answer. So, Echo Lloyd, missing. I love that name, Echo. Missouri mom last seen on Mother's Day. So we get Suzanne Morphew and we have Echo missing the same day. <sighs> so, Benton County, Missouri. The Benton County Sheriff said 48-year-old Echo Lloyd was last seen in early May. Lloyd was last seen on Mother's Day in Edwards, Missouri. Her daughter said she talked to her th that day and brought her mother flowers and a card and left them on her porch. At some point that weekend, both Lloyd's cell phone and home phone started going straight to voicemail, her daughter Kelsey Smith said. My mom did not just wander off. Something happened to her, and it's time to figure out what it is. Benton County Sheriff Eric Knox said they are doing their best to find her. He got the Missouri State Highway Patrol involved, along with the FBI. They have done ground searches with volunteer firefighters, Knox said based on what they found. It does not seem as though Lloyd has the resources to be on her own. There has been no activity on her cell phone and no use of her bank account. Smith told, Smith said Lloyd takes medication she needs. She's on several medications that she does not have with her, Knox said, nor does she have her billfold or her car. She is absolutely missing without a trace. If you have any information on this case, please call the Missouri State Patrol, and I'll drop that number below in the description. So I started looking through some articles and trying to get one with the most information, and I found the very interesting one on reddit so they go on we just talked about echo's case on web sleuths and the daughter kelsey was a guest on our show 11 7 2020 so the daughter has not gone silent she is in touch with equisearch also she verified that again today as she mentioned that 
and Tim Miller mentioned that and also he was getting a lot of drama calls concerning Echo and her case. On the YouTube channel Gray Hughes Investigates interview in July, Kelsey said basically the same things on Web Sleuths today. A week or two before Mother's Day weekend, Echo came over to Kelsey's house and was going to stay the night. And then in the morning, both of them were going to confront Echo's male neighbor who had no boundaries and was aggressive all according to Kelsey because Echo had let the neighbor take over her stuff like take over her house, car, etc. Kelsey didn't go into detail. Apparently Kelsey and Echo had an emotional talk about Echo being very upset about this though. Afterwards Echo decided to leave Kelsey's house early to go back to her house. Maybe the whole thing was too upsetting so Echo drove back home. So later on May 9th, Echo saw two girlfriends and Kelsey talked to her on the phone. On May 10th, Mother's Day, Kelsey had called Echo's cell phone, but it went to voicemail. So Kelsey stopped by Echo's house anyway to give her mom flowers, etc. And Kelsey learned later that her mom had gone to Walmart, which LE has camera footage of on May 10th with Echo's no boundaries male neighbor using Echo's car with Echo driving, which they apparently did frequently. House was locked up tight because mom was gone taking the neighbor to Walmart, but Kelsey didn't know that then. So she crawled through a half open window in the back and found everything as usual with Echo's smokes. Echo's purse was in the house, its usual place. Oh yeah, before Kelsey crawled in the window, she sent to the neighbor's house, banged on the door, and someone answered. Could have been the male neighbor's wife, and they both don't drive, or something like that. And she said that Echo had already came by and demanded her extra keys from them. Later at the house, on May 10th, the only things missing were Echo's cell phone, keys, and daily prescribed medicines she needed. Kelsey left a flowers and card and kept calling back and checking. The locked house every day or every other day and the calls rang but went to voicemail. Echo's gun was left outside. Don't know if that was meant on the porch or in the yard, but it normally wasn't outside. And Kelsey doesn't know if it had been fired. Remember, this is a really remote area, so Kelsey just left it thinking her mom would come home soon. But on Friday, May 15th, a week later, Kelsey called the police and filed a missing persons report. Kelsey said the neighbor has been questioned by LE. She knows nothing except it's an active investigation. IMHO only. I think there was some sort of altercation by Echo and her neighbor in question after coming back home from Walmart on May 10th. And he did something to Echo. If Echo had unlocked the house to get the gun after everything was over, whoever did it could have just relocked the house with gloves on. All only conjecture, of course. There is a huge wooded area by the houses. And again, it's kind of a remote area. Poor lady. Sounds like the daughter had been giving a hard time previously about the amount of information she posted. To Facebook by L.E. It seems Ellie is staying very tight-lipped on this while they collect evidence and find Echo. The situation with the aggressive neighbors doesn't sound too good, though. And no, it doesn't. So, now it is time to get nosy and let's go see if we can find out where Echo lives and if we can pinpoint who this neighbor is and maybe look a little into his background. All right, it has taken a lot of reading, a lot of researching, and a lot of videos and a lot of clues to try to figure out the exact address to where Echo Lloyd was living at the time she went missing, and I found the neighbor. Now, I am not sure if this is the neighbor who uses the car like her daughter Kelsey said, to go to the Walmart or had the keys to her car, I'm not sure. But in one of Kelsey's videos, she stated that she got on the railing of the house to kind of look out into the woods to see if she could see her mom and that she looked under the house. Now, I found it weird to look under the house, so 
in order to look under the house to me, I would have felt that maybe it was a prefab home, a mobile home. So I did find it. I am just going to show the outside and the area where she was last seen, where she was going, and what's going on. So Echo lives right about here, and she definitely lives in the middle of nowhere. So her property is somewhere right through here. It's not an exact I'm thinking that maybe the property is right here because this is the only property to me that looks like it could be a prefab or a mobile home. And then we've got the neighbor living right over, let me see, he's also off of Follow Lane. So he's right here, this um, man that I'm going to show you in a minute, and he's definitely not a nice man. So. The map plays out that, let's get back in here, okay. So I did some researching, like I said, and I have her over here at that drive. And the closest a Dollar General, which is in Climax, is in hour and six minutes. It's 52 miles, point two. And that is the closest Dollar General to her location. And then, like I said, we've got two addresses for the neighbor. One puts them over here on Crescent Moon Drive. But the other address he has is at this house right here on Follow Lane. So, let me show you who I am talking about place in October 18th 1993 he was 27 she was 18 and it was in Kansas City he's 5'6 194 pounds blue eyes brown hair white male and of course his offense is I'm not gonna read it but you can see what it says let's have one more look at this area before I go ahead and show you her house and how vast the property is. So I'm not giving exact numbers out because I am going to respect their privacy. But there are two sexual offenders and the one that I showed you the picture of earlier, Mac, Arthur he lives right here and he actually has two addresses right about here probably right across the street family probably owns a big chunk of land and she lives you know right about here I'm actually thinking it's probably I don't know I'm not gonna speculate but it's right about here right about here I think when this was taken, the lot was probably still empty. It could be back under these trees. You can't get down there and look anyways, but the other guy, the sexual predator, lives right here. So we've got that distance. Okay, so we've got that at 500 feet. So if he's going to live here, if he lives here, she's over here, a little over 500 feet. If he's walking over here through the woods, it's 400 feet. And let's just say that she's over here, or maybe she's in an empty lot at the end. We don't know, but he was very close. Now, is that the neighbor that she gives the rides to the Walmart? I don't know. Or does the neighbor live here? That I'm sure the police have already investigated, but just look at how dense this area is. Mm -mm -mm. All right. So from the research and the articles and watching her daughter's heartbreaking lives, and I've watched all of them, watching her and listening to her on Grey Hughes, and I have come to the conclusion, after doing some research, 
that this is where Echo Lloyd lives. I'm not going to reveal the address and I'm not going to show the inside, but I am going to show the outside. So this to me sounds like the front porch and then the railing that she said that she got on. The porch again. All that land. The back the side even when she said she looked under the house I was completely like looked under the house a shed another shot of the property and the porch so guys I don't know where Echo Lloyd could be and what are your thoughts okay so what are the facts and what do we know she went to Walmart. Then her daughter. I'm not sure when the Walmart trip was. It was before the Dollar General. And then her daughter went to the house on Mother's Day. And she was not there. And the car was not there. Then she went back on the 15th. Her car was there. Her purse was there. Her wallet. Money. Mom is gone. And her pistol is outside of the residence but we don't know where her car is in the driveway and she is gone now I did see in web sleuths that they were they investigated that Mac guy so does anyone know who the neighbor is that she takes to Walmart that does not drive is it the MacArthur guy I don't know but I am gonna dig and see what else is going on but this is definitely in the middle of nowhere all right guys that is it for this video so with that it is a wrap I want to thank you all for coming in. Thank you for watching. Please like or dislike, whichever you prefer. And subscribe. Everyone have a good day or a good night wherever you are in the world. And stay vigilant. I am out.